All right, so welcome back. Today we're going to continue on with SQLite. It's been a hot minute since I made a video on this channel. And the reason being, my laptop that I used to record all of these on uh, finally went kaput, and I kind of lost all motivation to continue to make videos, at least up until this point. So, you know, if you've been waiting on this one next in the series, then here you go. And if you're watching this in the future and you have no idea what I'm talking about, then don't worry about it. But regardless, we're gonna continue on with SQLite and Python. In the last video, we went ahead and created a table in Python, but now we're going to insert data into that table. I know in the last video at the very end, I said we'd update and delete, but I kind of forgot the most crucial step, which is actually having data to update and delete. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna to be writing some insert statements in Python and then using those to add some data to our database, which by the way, I have to start all brand new because the last video was recorded on my laptop, so we have nothing to work with. And so let's go back to our SQL where we created the table cars and we also will create our database test DB. So as long as I followed the last video correctly, this table should be the exact same as it was in the last one. So if you're following along, it's not like we're changing it up in any way. So let's go ahead and run this. Now, if we open up this database with our database browser for SQLite, and we look, we have a new table for cars, and if we browse it, I'm sorry if it's hard to see because of the resolution, I can't, or at least I don't know how to change the display of this. I guess I could change my desktop display, so let me do that actually. Hopefully that's a little bit better, uh, but we have this new cars table now that we just created in Python. We have an ID field, a manufacturer, a model, and the number of doors. So let's keep that in mind. Let's go back to our Python and let's comment out the SQL where we create a table because we don't need to do that again. So I'm just gonna highlight it. If you don't know how to do this quickly, you can highlight what you want to comment, go to edit in VS Code, and then we can either toggle a line comment or toggle a block comment. But for me, I'm just gonna use the line comment and it'll do something like this. So now we can go ahead and write our SQL for the insert statement. And for us, it's going to look something like this. Insert into the table name, so cars, values, and then right after cars and right after values, we're going to have open and close parentheses. So in the cars parentheses, these are the columns that we want to insert values into. And I'm going to leave out ID because that's going to be automatically added because of the auto increment that we set up when creating this table. So really, we can start out with manufacturer. So manufacturer is our first column. Our second one's model. And our third is number of doors. Now, if you remember, the first two are text, so we have to put that in a string. So the manufacturer, I'm gonna put Audi, because I'm a fan of Audis. Um, second one, the model. Let's do A4. I think that's probably their most popular. And then the number of doors for an Audi A4 is it's a four door. So that one's just an integer. It's not gonna be in quotes like the other two. We're just gonna leave it like that. Okay, so that's our SQL statement. That's going to insert these values into the table. The next step is just executing that SQL like we do when we create the table. But we need to do one more thing. We need to commit these changes or really just save the changes that we make when executing this SQL statement. And to do that, we're going to do connection because that's what we called our connection above, dot commit. And that method is just going to save our changes to the database. So let's go ahead and run this again. You can see it's pretty quick. And if we go back and we refresh this table, we have an ID of one. We didn't have to enter anything for that. Like I said before, it's auto incrementing. We have Audi, A4, and four doors. We can continue to add things. So if you're following along, which I hope you are, Go ahead and just enter different cars that you know, or you can even make them up. It doesn't matter, of course. So Ford, Escape, and that's also four door. We'll run that. And maybe a Ferrari <clears throat> 488, I think is the model. And that's a two door. Let's run that. And if we refresh, we should have three cars in here now. Now, something I didn't do at the end of this Python is close our connection to this SQLite database, and that's good practice to do so. So right after commit, let's disconnect from this database. So connection.close. 
And while we're at it, let's just add one more card to this. So maybe like a Kia, and I don't know if this is still a car that they manufacture or not, nor do I know if I'm gonna spell this right, but Sorrento, and that's a four door. All right, so we committed the change, we closed our connection. If we refresh, here's the Kia Sorrento that we just added. Okay, so that's how you can write an insert statement to insert data from Python into your SQLite database. In the next video, something I thought that would be fun is how do we dynamically create these SQL statements? Like, for instance, if we're given a list of cars, how do we go ahead and take that list and dynamically create all these different insert statements and execute them no matter how big the list is that the user gives us? So stay tuned for that. Hopefully it'll be pretty fun, and I hope to see you in that next video.